everyone today we got the latest 1.15.0.56 beta and i must say i'm pretty happy about the changes so all of the changes that were in this beta were mostly good for everyone and that's something i really respect they fixed some of the major bugs that were present in the previous betas and yeah that's great so that means at least that we don't have to worry about those in the next major update However, some of the changes that they introduced in previous betas are still present, and I will go, of course go into detail with those, but for now I'm going to cover all the other changes. So of course I will have the change lock down in the description, it is fairly straightforward, so all the changes that are in there are documented on the change lock. And like I have said in previous beta videos, these videos are not to cover all of the beta changes, but mostly to cover the technical changes. And that's what I'm going to go into detail here, the rest of the changes are, well again, as I said, on the change lock. So the first change here is that hooray, observers now finally pulse again when they are moved. As you can see, moving the observers does indeed pulse them. And surprisingly enough, they did also keep the parity change that the observers don't pulse when they are placed. And that is great, that means that we also have our flying machines back. So I can just import one right here. There we go. And uh, well, these work again as they should. Let's I'll just update that for a second. And as you can see, the flying machines work again, thanks to the observers pulsing when moved. And that is absolutely great, it is good to have flying machines back. And of course it would have been horrible to not have them in the full release, but yeah, luckily they fixed that. And I very much respect that, that they managed to fix it and also keep the parity change. That is finally something good, and yeah, I'm very happy about that. Now the next fairly severe issue that they fixed is that well trees wouldn't grow when there were leaves within their generation area, but luckily they do now. So let's just test that out. Uh, we can just place down a tree. And when we break the logs, it will properly generate. Great. So that was another bug that was present since the first 1.15 beta. And it was very important for that one to get patched because, well, it would have broken all tree farms, including my own, which we can just test out for a second. I have command blocks to automatically place saplings, and as you can see, the tree will generate no matter if there is um, leaves in the area, which is, of course, great. That means that it is not broken. I believe they also fixed a bug where um, in 2x2 two two spruce trees there would be air in between the logs. Let's just check if that was fixed. Uh, I don't see any air. Or oh, it wasn't air, it was leaves I believe. There was, um, well yeah, the, there was leaves in between the logs and that was an issue. Ooh, was that me? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing as many as there were before for sure, so either it's completely fixed or it's part fixed, but I think it's completely fixed, might have been me. So luckily that means that trees are pretty much functional again as they were before the 1.15 beta, and that's great, one less thing to worry about for when the actual update drops. Now I can't really demonstrate this on camera because it is a multiplayer related issue and I do not have a second person to test this with at the moment, but according to the changelog the notorious block lag has been fixed, so that is an issue that has been plaguing many servers and realms and all that stuff for a while. It's basically when you started mining too fast, blocks would start reappearing and that was a very annoying issue. So as you can see it says fixed version 1.15.0.56 beta and it is marked as fixed in this changelog right here. And well, if it is actually fixed, that is great, but we have seen previously that they fixed it and then they broke it again. So let's just hope it actually stays. And because we cannot have Realms or BDS server software in beta, since they don't openly release those server softwares, we cannot test very well if it works right now. Of course, we can use the built-in multiplayer by having two clients on the 1.15.0.56 beta. But yeah, if it is actually fixed, then that's great. Now another change in the beta that worried some players that I know is that it says that sheeps would update properly. And if we take a look into the change log, the mentioned change is that, we can just go here for a second, as you can see, sharing a sheep will now update the sheep properly. But if we go into the description, it is just a visual bug. 
and that of course concerns some people with my forced update wool farm. However, I can confirm that the forced update wool farm still works. However, ironically, it seems that there is now the issue that sheep never will appear with their wool again. So as you can see, I just sheared the sheep despite it looking like it is unsheared. But if we just test the functionality of the forced update wool farm, we can just turn this on for a second. And as you can see, when I go back there, it will indeed have sheared these because well, everything got collected by the Hopper Minecart. But as you can see, it is all trickling in because well, it did shear the sheep. Now, according to the changelog, they also fixed a bug where hoppers were not able to collect from composters. I personally never had that issue, but apparently it works. So yeah, I can't really say if it ever broke in the first place. It probably did, but I didn't notice. But yeah, it is working now. And if you're wondering, most of the major sort of not defined behaviors are still working. So trident killers are still working as intended and the sand-based desertic farms still work as well. Now again, in the previous updates, they did indeed break water-based shuriken farms, so this one for example is broken, because moving blocks lose their waterlock status, and well, that is unfortunate, but that is also related to a parity issue, and of course, moving waterlock blocks being removed is also a big issue for many other things. So that's about it for the changes in this 1.15 beta. And of course, there are also many other changes that occurred in the previous betas that are less than desirable that we would not like to have in there as a community because it both hurts technical and casual and basically all players. And yeah, there are multiple links in the description where you can upload things such as feedback posts or bug reports and all that. And I highly suggest that you go check out all of them and upvote all of them because, well, through your votes, it's the only way that the developers will know that we care about these things and that we want them changed. And yeah, instead of just complaining to some random YouTubers, you can go there and give your own voice. And that will be the most effective way of telling people what you actually want. Uh, but apart from that, I think this is pretty much all for this little beta overview video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe because I do keep interesting content like this coming out on a regular basis. And I think you will find it interesting. But apart from that, bye.